It's good to see all of you today, whether you're joining us on site or online. I'm Michael Kyer. I'm with the OUC tech team. My pronouns are he, they. The Zoom service is being recorded and it's being streamed live to YouTube. For those in the sanctuary and on site today, please turn the sound and off on any devices or turn those devices off altogether. We also ask that you keep your nose and your mouth covered by your mask at all times. And note that you can see the subtitles and view the chat on the screens in the front of the room. For those online, um, I hope you find a, ca a candle or a chalice. In a moment, we can light them together. Thank you for your grace and adaptability. As we all remember, it's about connection, not perfection. Good morning. Am I on? There we go. This is a different service than we normally have. It's what we call an all music service. And that means that there'll be more music than there will be talking. There'll be plenty of words, but they'll be sung. Um, and we'd like to start with singing together. Hymn number 368, Now Let Us Sing. I invite you to rise in body and or spirit and let's sing together. Now let us sing. Now let us sing. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the worship service of the Olympia Unitarian Universalist Congregation. We welcome each of you to this celebration of love and to this congregation. The OUUC community comes together in the mutual promises and possibilities of our covenant. We envision an interconnected world that is loving, just, and healthy. We commit to live out our mission to welcome and wonder, embrace and empower, bridge and become. We're so glad that you are here today. I'm Des McGarren, and I use he, him pronouns. I'm a member of the worship arts team. Leading worship with me today is Troy Fisher, our music director, and the OUUC Choir. If you are new to OUUC, welcome. We'd love to hear from you. You can fill out a visitor card at the link in the chat, or please talk to a greeter afterwards if you are in our sanctuary. Children of all ages are welcome here in the sanctuary with us. And there is also nursery care and a story time program for children just down the hallway and in the classroom wing. Each family can choose how they want to participate. We are a multi-generational community and we value our young ones. Welcome. We are grateful for the many hands that helped make worship happen this morning. Thank you to the ushers and greeters, the breakout room hosts, the tech team members, the youth staffing the nursery awaiting the return of our young ones, and all who contribute in so many ways. After the service, everyone will have the chance to discuss reflection questions related to today's music service. For those online, we invite you to go into a break room, 
for a virtual reflection circle with your hosts in attendance. For those here today, please feel free to bring the reflection questions into your discussions, or if you want to join a group, you can gather here. The questions are printed on the order of service. We hope you'll join the discussion wherever you are. Next Sunday, June 26, we'll stream a service offered by Reverend Susan Frederick Ray, President of the Olympian Unitarius, Unitar Universalist Association, based on the work of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. We have the option, as usual, of joining us virtually or in person here at OUUC for a watch party. And afterwards, same day at 11.30, here at OUUC, come and enjoy lunch with the Environmental Action Team and members of the Thurston Climate Action Team. Learn about efforts to implement the Thurston Climate Mitigation Plan and what you can do to help. Hope to see you here. We return to live services on July 3rd at 10.30 a.m. For the month of July, we will join with three other UU congregations in a worship collaborative. This will be a wonderful opportunity to experience variety in, work in worship and meet new UUs. Note that all services in July will be at 10.30 a.m. There are many opportunities to stay connected to our community. Please check the website regularly. If you have questions or need help, please check in with a staff member. Now, let us open our hearts and minds as we prepare for worship. Welcome, everyone. It is good to be together. This morning and every Sunday morning, we join Unitarian Universalist congregations around the world in lighting a chalice, the symbol of our faith tradition. Please join me as we light our chalices together with these words by the great young soul poet, Matty Stepanek, who lived to the age of 13. I want, want, to be I want to be remembered as a poet, a peacemaker, and a philosopher who played.
For our opening song, we're going to sing Ruth Moody's One Voice. And we'll start with one voice, and then two voices, and then three voices, and then all voices. And we'd invite you to join us. The lyrics are posted in the uh, chat and also in your order of service. And you're welcome to stand then if you want to, or do whatever you want to, whatever feels right. But we'll start with one voice, then two, then three, then all of us. Nice to sing together. The words that the choir sang in their opening anthem, Psalm of Life, were written by Matty Stepanik shortly after he died at the age of 13 from dysautonomic mitochondrial myopathy. Matty said, Maybe I wanted to have kids because you want to leave behind something. You want to leave behind lessons 
Leave behind everything that matters to you. That's how you touch the world. But alas, I have to reconsider what it's like to leave a legacy. I heard a lot of songs say, where you going, my kid? Now I know they're true. Wow. You never stop to think how fast the years run. Now they're taking you, taking you. I remember you was three and a half your mom and me would sit there after things got quieted we'd laugh at some new word you said how tough you were to get to bed and we'd plan the night away planning for our kids I was your hero then I couldn't do no wrong As far as you were concerned You thought I was the best of dads Well, the tables hadn't turned You hadn't learned kid. You know what I want? I want my kid to tell me that they're not going to be like me. I want them to look at me and say, Dad, you're a nice guy, but you're a real dummy. Hell yes. If you can't improve yourself, you improve your posterity. Otherwise, life isn't worth nothing. You might as well go back to the cave and stay there. I'm sure the first, the first caveman who went over the hill to see what was on the other side 
And I don't think he went there wholly out of curiosity. He went there because he wanted to get his kid out of the cave. I heard a lot of songs say, where you going, my kid? Now I know they're true. Wow, you never stop to think how fast the years run or the things that they steal. Now it seems I always knew why I do the things I do and the things I never did. Why I work my whole damn life so I can give a better life than the one my dad could give. I give it to my kid. together in community this morning bringing all that is in our lives in this space we draw on the strength of our community to hold all that we bring here with us in this space we share our hearts what brings us joy and sorrow and what brings us worry and delight what makes us afraid and what makes us dance let's open our hearts to the complexity of life our own and others if you would like to send in something to share, please look for the link on, on uh, the online worship page on the OEUC website, and we'll bring it into the service next week. You'll hear a drumbeat as we share today. It brings into our awareness that our individual hearts beat, and together we create the heartbeat of our community. As we share, we place stones in the water Stones holding the complexity of our lives placed in the water of community. Right now, I invite you to take a breath. As we open our hearts to receive the complexity of all that is in our lives and community today. Sage Barber asks for prayers and good wishes for next steps in his career. Sage, we are sending you our love and care. Today, Mike and Joanne Young are celebrating their 62nd wedding anniversary. With gratitude for each other and for the abundance and love in their lives these 62 years. Congratulations, Mike and Joanne. May you have many more years together. Gail and Fritz Reedy say, send love and prayers to their Canadian friends, Anne and Gordon, as Gordon has a terminal illness. If you're online, I invite you to share from your heart by entering in the chat. This is the time to share all that you wish, joys and sorrows, and whatever else you wish to share from your heart. For those in person today, I invite you to come forward if there is something that you would like to bring into this community. Please come forward through the center aisle and return to your seats by the side aisles. You may place a stone into the water as you hold your sharing in your heart. Let us hear the heartbeat of our community and touch our hearts in love and care to all those who share today.
We place a stone in the water for all that has been shared from the heart, a stone holding the complexity of our lives held in the water of community. And we place one more stone in the water for all that we hold in our hearts and that remain unspoken. invite you now into a time of reflection, prayer, and meditation.
Our prayers and meditations deepen our gratitude for what we know as sacred in our lives and in this world each Sunday. Each Sunday, we express our gratitude by joining together in service to our community and to something greater than ourselves. The offering collected here does several things. Half supports the ongoing work of OUUC, which is also supported by our regular pledges. The other half is shared with an organization that serves our community in harmony with our Unitarian Universalist values. And a small portion goes to the OUUC Minister's Benevolence Fund to help support those in immediate need. For the months of May and June, our Share the Plate recipient is Homes First. Homes First envisions fostering diverse and inclusive communities uh, that people are proud to live in and have in their neighborhood. Since 1990, Homes First has successfully created affordable rental housing in Thurston County. They currently house 277 extremely low-income people in safe, stable, and affordable homes. You can participate in the offering by making a donation online through the church website or by texting the number that will appear on your screen in just a moment. You can also mail a check to OUUC or place your offering in one of the baskets. Our community partners continue to need our financial support. May the offering now be generously given as it is, as it is gratefully received.
the poetry that the choir sang for the opening anthem, Psalm of Life, written by young soul poet Maddie Stepanik, will guide our musical reflection today. Echo of understanding, silhouette of courage, reflection of knowledge, oh, sighing breath of wisdom, spirit me home. Maddie speaks so poignantly to the human condition with these words. I live in the shadow of doubt. I dwell in the darkness of unknown. I wonder and I wander 
in mere mortal moments, my soul seeking solace and peace.
Young Maddie philosophizes. People are fighting over how our heart songs are different. People are fighting over how our heart songs are different. But they don't need to be the same. That's the beauty. We are a mosaic of gifts. Each of us has our inner beauty. 13 years old. Each of us has our inner beauty.
And Maddie offers this prayer. I pray for a world in such need. I yearn for a world with real peace. I praise and give thanks in hope of tomorrow beyond days of my moments on earth. Echo of understanding, silhouette of courage, reflection of knowledge, O oh, sighing breath of wisdom, spirit my life. Let's rise and sing together hymn number 123, Spirit of Life. You might even find the boldness to harmonize a little bit. Whatever. As we come to the close today, I'd certainly like to thank young Maddie for his beautiful poetry. I'd like to thank the beloved OUUC Choir for a wonderful service. I'd like to thank Des for a wonderful service. And Michael and Joe back on tag. Remember that online reflection groups will gather next and there will be refreshments in the commons for those who are in person. If you have a chalice or a candle, please join us as we extinguish our chalice with these words by Michael Dennis Brown.
When the choir sings together, we end with a benediction by Jason Shelton, and we would like to end with that today. Some of you have heard it before, and you might want to sing along, and you're welcome to. It's printed in the order of service. Um, we would invite you to stand with us, and let's take our benediction.
Karen. Good to see you.